Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Herrer, and welcome back to Let's Play Custom Robo. In the last episode, we did the lab single battle. We ended up getting gold. Thankfully, we fought a bunch of rehabilitated burglars. Uh, the morality of that I still question. But anyway, next, we're gonna go to lab number two, which is the first handicap battle tournament. And unfortunately, not the last one we'll be seeing, but... We're going to go ahead and rush in here and, well, excuse me, we're going to go ahead and dive in here. <laughs> you see what I did there? Hey there, Hair Hair. I see you've been working hard. I think these voices change, to be honest. I don't think I've kept a single voice the same throughout this LP. Anyway, you've become an ex you became an excellent commander, just as I thought you would. I figured you'd had enough of the normal battles, so I prepared something with a little more spice. I call it the lab handicap battle. The deal is you have to fight two other commanders. It's a one-on-two -on -two handicap match. I think you need something that's a little more of a challenge. Should I explain again? Nope, I understood. Great, let's start then. Yep, so we're fight. Oh, handicap match are in effect for all six battles, so they'll all be uh, one on two battles. Use any parts. All right, so I think we're gonna go grab something out of here. It's the Splendor. Uh, I forget what that is, to be honest. What uh, type of robo it is? Whoops, there we go. Well, we're your first opponents. Doesn't look like a fair matchup, does it? Well, yeah, it's not. We really don't have much in the way of skill, so there's no way we could fight you alone. I don't want to fight. I feel much more comfortable when I don't have to, you know, move. I, f I, feel you. I feel you, dude. How can you say things like that with a straight face? Moving around is good for you. Man, you're odd. Anyway, let's go. Okay, let's get started. Let's keep it clean, huh? Sure. Um, alright, so. Well, I'll explain a little bit here. Or, later. Alright. Seal head and, uh, javelin, it looks like. We got the seal head with a phoenix. I don't think we've seen this. Fire as uh, quick, large rounds. Ground fire, ground, blah, 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 grounds fire. <laughs> Two rounds uh, shoot up and down. Aerial fire, the rounds fly straight. The range is long. He has the freeze bomb, the jumping bee, the stabilizer legs, and the criminal. He's got the claw, the straight G bomb, the float F pod, and the long thrust legs. The Holocene will be at diamond fences. Fortunately, they're not giving us too, uh, too much complication in these. Wow. This is pretty much what I was thinking, except for the long thrust legs. Wow, well that was simple. <laughs> I'm glad I'm a habitual person. Is it habit, habitual or habitual? I, I don't remember, actually. I've heard someone saying it habitual, but habitual, but I don't know. Uh, random thoughts? Anyway, so the way I'm thinking, um, maybe I'll show the whole of this battle just to show you guys what this is like. Green, you're going down first, apparently. Nice, good job getting hit. I like that. I like to see that. Okay, let me explain something. Uh, whichever robo you're on, that's the one that will mainly shoot at you. The other one will not use their gun much. Uh, like, see, that was like the first time uh, Blue shot at me. Uh, so, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whew. That claw gun. It's, uh, it gets crazy. Oh, hey, hey, Blue. No, no. Oh, gosh. I just got comboed. I don't know what that voice is, was, ever, will be. Alright, so green's almost down. Alright, so I think I pretty much explained the uh, concept of what they're, how they're going to set up. Uh, the one you're on will is the main one you're, that will be shooting and stuff at you. Good grief, that claw gun has a really far reach. Um, dude, stop. Okay, and then the other one will not uh, shoot at you as much. But uh, like my advice in double battles, you're going to want to shoot at one mainly. Ah, man, that uh, these types of robos are good at dodging. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Alright, I should be using my bombs and stuff more. Alright, uh, yeah, get down to one opponent, so it's one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I mean, that's not my double battle, actually. But whatever, sorry. I'm, I'm tired, to be honest. Um, I don't know, this is like the... I think I'm... I don't know, never mind, I don't know what I'm saying. So, uh, what should I talk about? Oh, for this, uh, thing, I'm thinking I'm gonna cut some of the battles since it is six. Uh, oh my health, I'm gonna go get hit real quick. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Actually, I'm not really sorry. Okay, that was awkward. Um, okay, can we get hit? There we go. Oh, gosh. I don't want to get hit anymore. I'm good. Um, nice. Okay, what was I going to say? I might be cutting battles. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm out of it. Um, might be cutting battles just because at this point you know what they're like. Uh, it's pretty simple. And they're also going to take longer since it's we're going to have to fight two bat or two uh, commanders. Wow, wow. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Alright, not horrible, I guess. Not the best either, but... Oh, well. We got the claw gun, which is a pretty interesting gun. You've, you just saw in that match. 
We lost. I figured we would. We should have stayed away. You need to get out more. I just want to do research in a quiet lab. Is that so wrong? Not really. I mean, I, I don't really care, but whatever. Let's just go grab that claw gun. Probably not going to be using it. I want to stick with my setup I'm good with. Custom robots are robots that stand 30 centimeters tall. They're built with the latest technology and controlled by human minds. What is this guy mumbling about? Oh, don't mind him. We have a few re researchers uh, working here who are a bit off. You have researchers working at a government facility who are a bit off. That's nice. I'm not weird. I find myself to be a genius. By the way, my name is Jim. He sort of just casually introduced himself. Holoseums are typically 3.6 square, square meters. Some Holoseums are built from the Robo's core data. Some are even built from a commander's memories and thoughts. Is this guy okay? Oh, he's fine. He goes to therapy every other Tuesday. How about you? Are you ready to fight? Yeah, I'm okay. Then let the second battle begin. Well, this guy is interesting. Alright, so he's got his javelin and a tank head, it looks like. Let's check that. Criminal Meteor Storm, the Smash Bomb. Have we seen that? Uh, explodes above your head, launches one bomb at a time, blows target diagonally upward. Cool. The Wave Pod, the Feather Legs, the Tank Head, uh, with the Splash Gun, I believe we've seen that, actually. The Wave Bomb, the Double Wave Pod, and the Wide Jump Legs. The Holocene will be at High Rise Plaza. And I think I'm good with my Robo, actually, because I'm, I'm just going to keep the same setup. <laughs> uh man. Uh, so what to talk about? Oh, we, we got some kittens, because, like, we live kind of in the country, so we usually keep cats around to catch mice and whatnot. Uh, interesting story. One time we had a cat, we walked out on our back porch, and there was a half-eaten rabbit. So that's nice. I guess one of our cats is, our cats was, uh, uh, fast enough to catch a rabbit. That's cool. I wish I could catch a rabbit. Not that it'd have that much use in life. So what's your special talent? I can catch rabbits. So how's that helped you in life? It hasn't. I guess if you haven't checked it out, I uh, I guess sat. Actually, I meant to put it up Saturday, Friday, but it ended up being up on Saturday. Uh, I got my first Minecraft uh, Let's Play video out. Uh, it's actually a really cool seed. Um, it well, there's like a. Uh, I think you'll see pretty soon. First, pretty soon into the video. Uh, we found there's like a harbor that we spawn right right next to. It's really cool. Uh, and then later in the video, I find this gigantic hole. Like, I don't even know what it is or why it was like why it's like that. But it's just really cool. Uh, yeah. So uh, go check that out if you haven't. I'll probably have an anno annotation up on the bottomish of the screen, somewhere on the screen at least. Come on, guy, just die. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> sometimes, sometimes these dudes. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so got better score than last time. And we got the Smash Bomb. Cool. Man, you're mighty. No way we can keep up with you. Alright, well, bye. Have a nice time. And it's another guy who looks exactly the same. How about that? Smash Bomb. Nice to meet you. Er, same here. The cannon that fires the uh, robot at the beginning of the battle is called a robo cannon. Ready to fight? Um, sure. Ugh, here we go. These, these guys change voices. I don't know what's up with them. It's not me at all. All right, a defender. Cool. And a tank head, but anyway, a uh, tank head, the rayfall gun, the left wave uh, bomb, the caboose C, the wide jump legs, and the defender with the flare gun, the dual C bomb, the spatter G, and the stabilizer legs. The Holoceum is a diamond fence. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get Sky Freeze just for that defender, see if we can get get him trapped a little bit. Um, you know. For, I guess also for some, uh, wow, that was attractive, Harrison. I mean, Hair Hair, that's not my name. <gasps> the secret's out! Oh no! Oh, it's such a horrible thing now. Someone's gonna kidnap me. Um, right. Oh, I guess, yeah, we're dealing with the tank head first, apparently. Bam! That's right. Get down on the ground. Like, uh, uh someone being tackled in football. Yes. 
like that. Did you know in the I think it's the one the newest Batman movie with Joker, uh, Dark, Dark the Dark Knight. Duh. Um, wow. The scene where Joker is uh, he blows up the hospital. That that they had like one shot to uh, take that and that part where uh, he presses the button and it doesn't go off that was not meant to be like that and since only had one shot at it they kept it like that but uh whatever the actor is i don't really know actors names to be honest uh he stayed in character for that and then it finally went off so they kept it not like they really had a choice but uh yeah tidbit of a uh, random stuff information there i wish i wish with all my heart to get get hit by a dragon and get blown apart ha <laughs> you see what i did there you did everyone, anyone else ever watch that show that spider's about to hit me it's a cool show. I don't really remember the names. Was one of the kids Max? I feel like it is. Probably not, though. Dun, dun, backflip, and then shut down, and then da, 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 just fade out, and then the Battle 3 results screen. We got the Spider Pod G. Defeat. There are certain requirements for custom robot parts. Any parts that are capable of hurting commanders are considered legal. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but look at Sherry, I think that's what we're gonna be battling next. Alright, I'm gonna stop, that was weird. Okay, cool. Uh, we got the spider pod G. We could use that. So you're looking well, I guess you can tell I'll be your next opponent. Kato here hardly speaks. I imagine you noticed that already. Anyway, let's do our best, Kato. This, not, this guy, guy's name is Kato? Yes, that is my name. Oh, okay. So, were you shocked to glimpse some of the old odd personalities among the researchers? Yeah, sort of. They may be a little weird, weird, but they're all nice people. So anyway, let's begin, okay? Are you ready? Yes, I am. I haven't fought in such a long time. I can't wait. Really? I think you would have be like testing the parts, right? Oh, I was thinking that she had a defender also, and I was really confused, but anyway. Uh, she's got a buggy, uh, trek flyer. I forgot what that was for a second. The star shotgun. Standard K. The breakfast cereal. Isn't that what it is? Special K. Uh, no, it's not special K. Standard K you see is a bomb, but special K, whenever you it gets special, it turns into a cereal. Um, and that's your random fact of the day. She has the standard pods, the short thrust legs. The def uh, he has the defender with the glider, the crescent K, the throwing D, and the feather legs. Um, I'm thinking the setup is going to be good because I want to keep that sky freeze up because of the trick flyer model and the uh, the defender. I can't think of their name. Oh, I'm such a horrible person. Um, what is it? What, uh, strike? Not strike banisher. Uh, lightning? No. La la I can't think. Ah, I can't think of the word at least. Let's just come on, come on, dude. Your dudes, dude, dude. There we go. Stop it. I missed. Or yeah, I, I stop it. I'm trying to get up, and you're spamming. Not that I'm not spamming, but I'm the player, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, that's that's how you want to go about life, right? It's bad if you do bad things, but if I do them, it's okay. Right. There we go. Oh no, this is actually close. I'm not going to get a good score on this. I swear. If, oh gosh. If I actually lose. There we go. Whew. Ooh, that could have been worse. Actually, it could have been better also. I would have rather it rather it had been better, but oh well. Uh, hopefully I'm getting gold on this. Alright. Uh, that's a bad score. And we got the buggy trick flyer, like you saw. Ugh, we lost. Boy, experimenting on robos sure is different from battling them. That... I guess it would be, but... Oh, well. I need a replacement. Okay, bye, Kato. Aw, uh, you didn't switch places, Sherry. What's up with that? You need to get in the game. Get your crap together, Sherry. Get together! Arr, arr. Okay. You really are something, you know? The one-on-two handicap doesn't even phase you. Well, Sherry and I will be your last opponents for this tournament. I'll hold my own, don't worry. We can we can't let one easily. I mean, there are two of us. Ready, Hair Hair? Sure thing. Let's see how good you really are. Alright, let's see how much you can spam. That's kinda mean, but whatever. Uh seeker on the buggy, I think. Oh the hornet gun. I kinda wanna take her out first. Oh, did I say seeker? I don't remember. But seeker, the hornet gun the hornet's gun. Blech. 
Standard bomb, the speed P, the booster legs. The buggy has the shotgun with the straight G, the twin flank F, and the long thrust legs. The Holosseum will be at... Da -da -da Corvus Court. And um, I think I want to keep it the same. Well, 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 wait. I'll be back in a, a second, guys. I'm just going to think through this. Yeah, guys, I'm just going to... Oh, wait, that's not... Uh, sky Freeze, excuse me. I'm just going to stick with the stick with the Sky Freeze since they do have the uh, Lightning... Lightning Sky, that's what it is, isn't it? Anyway, Lightning Sky and the... Uh, the ple 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 you know what I mean? I, I forgot what the Robos are already. That's kind of bad, but oh well. All right, we're not going to get out in any good amount of time. Okay, well, we lost. Well, I lost. You guys didn't. <laughs> first loss. Well, not first. Uh, well, it's been a while since I've lost, actually. But yeah, yeah, I don't really care what you have to say, to be honest. Whatever. You know, even though it's whatever, I thought you'd still win. Cool. Blah, 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 blah. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. Yay! Okay, well, uh, what I basically didn't do in that last battle that I lost, I wasn't really using my bombs, which were uh, pretty useful against Linda, especially since she could uh, dodge the dragon gun. But let's see what the score is. I really don't think I got anything good. Oh, what? Really? Huh, well, uh, oh, cool. All right, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Not complaining. We got the Hornet Gun, which really, as annoying as it is, I'm not very good with it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. That, that It's annoying that it's annoying, but it's also annoying that I can't be good at annoying other people with it so that they'll be annoyed. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Woo, we're no match for you. Incredible, Hair Hair. You're really amazing at this. It's been an honor fighting you. Well, thanks. You guys are too nice. You're just gonna walk away in separate direct- Why didn't- you, Why'd you walk away to talk to me? Do I smell bad? I mean, I know I haven't showered at all in this game, but really? You didn't have to walk away. It's rude. Well, Hair Hair, no questions. You've grown strong. You've grown, grown strong. And I'm sure you'll keep growing stronger for some time. Speaking of which, did you already go to the other two rooms? Well, you haven't. Blah, 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 blah. Wah, 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 wah. Sure. Um, come back here anytime. No, I do- I got it. Okay, then, I'll see you later. Good luck with the other tournaments. Well, thanks, Linda. You're such a nice lady, except whenever you're shooting me with hornets that are really annoying and all that stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You've been awesome. You'd be more awesome if you wanted to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, the next time, we'll be going to the lab bonus battle, which should be pretty fun. I'm just saying, look, be on the lookout for that. It's either in here or the other place, which obviously we'll figure out whenever we go to, because I'm hoping they'll tell us we could just go stand in there. Stand in here, the wrong room for the rest of the episode. I don't know what I'm talking about. Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, thanks for watching. Alright, guys, uh, have an awesome day, slash night, slash morning, slash news, slash whatever other vaguely specific time of day there is. And I think that's about it. Just gonna run some laps around this little, uh, the thing. I don't know what it is. It's a high tech fountain, apparently. Yay, it's a fountain of technology. Yay. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's about it. Uh, see ya!